So this is a hard question. It took me quite a bit to figure the ball game out. But let's draw a picture, because a picture. We've got um, a swing, and I'll make it green. And then we're just going to ball at the end. It could be a person swinging. It makes no difference. And they're at a certain point. But when they are at the bottom of their arc, they're going to be here, right? So they're going to travel at this kind of an angle. Now, if you think about it, um, this actually is an energy problem. So if you are at this point, let's zoom in right here. If you're at this point, you have, you have what I'm going to call the max potential energy at the very top of the arc, right? And we know the arc is, uh, I believe it was 25 degrees, right? And if you've got max potential energy, the kinetic energy is zero. And when you're at the bottom, you're going to have the kinetic energy is at a max, and the potential energy equals zero. So if I can find what the total energy of the potential energy is, that's going to equal the kinetic energy at the bottom. Now, since this is just gravity, right, this is going to be the potential energy. Just over here. The potential energy is going to be equal to mgh. Now, what do I say by h? Now, if you think about it, what's happened is, we'll do blue line here, is that it's risen this far. Now note that the two green lines, this green line and this green line are the same length. We don't know the length, we're gonna solve for that in a minute. But what I can do is I can say MGH is equal to, now what's kinetic energy? One half MV squared. You're trying to solve for V max. And so we wanna solve for the V. By the way, I don't know if you realize this, but what happens, they did not give us the mass of the creature, the person, whatever. Um, does it matter? Because the M's, what do they do? They cancel out, boom. So you basically have the equation GH equals one half V squared. And you're solving for V. Well, what's G? G, of course, is just 9.8. Now, how do I find H? H is the tricky one. What I need to do, again, is I need to find the height of this blue line. Now, if you think about it, this is, we had this angle, and we need to find this length. So I need to find the length. Let's pretend we know the length, all right? So the length is L. Actually, uh, let's make it that uh, red. Red. This is L, and this is L, right? They're the same length. The two green lines have the same length. So what I can do is I can say, not sign, this, I want to find, I need a new color, black. I want to find the length of this line. I can do this because I've now drawn a right triangle. You see that? And so if you think about it, you know, we'll call this um, X and then we'll call this Y. And if you think about it, X plus Y equals L, right? And I can find X using Sokotoa, assuming I know L. Right, And so if I can say, if this is 25 degrees, what I can do is I can say, so I can say the cosine of 25 degrees is equal to the adjacent X over L. And if I find L, I can find X, and then L minus X is Y, and Y will be my height over here. So how do I find L. Well, we were given this little piece of information right here. We were given the period. So if we know the period, if you recall, T equals 2 pi square root of L over G. All right. The period we know is 3.9 seconds equals 2 pi square root of L over, what's G? 9.8. So this becomes the L. Got it. So once I know the L, that L gets plugged into right here, and you find X. And, um, you know, I'm going to make up a number. I mean, it's not right. But if this is 15, and then when I solve for X, I get 13, then Y would be 2, right? That This is not the right answer. And now I can plug this number, 2, which isn't the right answer, into there, and I can solve for V. You'll have a square root problem, but that's it's a complex problem, but that's how you do it.